I was watching a video of a gentleman who had a near-death experience, although why they call it a near-death experience, I don't quite understand, because as far as I know, they're dead, um, not nearly dead. And I don't know if you can be nearly dead. You're either dead or you're not. Anyway, apart from that, this is what they call them. And seemingly one in ten people in the world have these experiences. And it was very interesting. He was talking about how he was a pilot and uh, when the plane took off, it crashed almost immediately. And uh, he looked down and he saw the bodies of his co-pilots lying there. And just to the right of them, he saw himself lying there, dead. And he thought, how can that be? Here I am here looking at them. I feel as though I'm in my body, and uh, but I'm, I'm up here looking down. And it was all very interesting. He went on to say how he had been uh, an atheist. And he went to heaven and he met Jesus and now he's a firm believer and uh, he's now a pastor. And the thing about it was that struck me, he said that he'd written a book and um, all about his experiences in heaven. And it was so interesting to hear his, his um, experience. But when he was finished, he said that uh, unfortunately he couldn't prove his book and that we would all just have to take his word for it. Now, I believe him implicitly, um, but it set me thinking about what I do. I'm a trans healer, and when I sit with people online, they see the faces of their loved ones over mine. I've written a book about this. It's called The Light of the World. And the difference from his book and my book is that I can prove mine. You can experience seeing the souls of loved ones. If you would like more information on what I do, go to Catherine Kennedy Divine Healer dot com. I'll see you there.